All right, everyone, welcome into Panther Prowl here on the SDH Network. I'm Madison Cruz, and joined with me is Georgia State's Bree Barley. Bree, how are you doing today? Good. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. It feels it feels like fall. I walked outside this morning, and it definitely – you get the little brisk in the air, and I'm really enjoying it. Me too. We've needed we've needed fall after the, the hot summer that we've had here in Georgia. Mm-hmm. All right, I want to talk about this up this last match up against ULM. It was a 4-0 victory for you guys, your first win in conference play. How important was it to get that first win, and how does it feel to finally get that? To get the first win feels amazing, and winning in general is already amazing. And we just really needed that, that win to push us forward to end the season well. So, And we've had a rough start, so this win was really important for us. You also had a hat trick in that game. Beautiful goals, by the way, as well. Um, how does it feel to finally get the offense going? Um, it feels amazing. As scoring in general is amazing, but to get the offense moving is just incredible. Well, scoring the first goal was good for our team, and it gave us momentum to keep going. And then the second goal was also good and giving momentum. And I feel like the third and fourth goal was just – Good for us to seal the deal. And it's interesting for you. Um, you. You've had a couple injuries this season that has kept you out a little bit, and you actually got the chance to get back in this game. You started in this game. I mean, how have you stayed positive while battling all of these injuries this season? It's been difficult, I will say, because it is my last year playing at Georgia State. And so it's a little, um, I won't say difficult, but keeping the right mindset to just try to get better so I can come back and help my team was a big thing. And then um, just taking it day by day, I will say my favorite quote that kept me going was to focus on the step in front of you, not the whole staircase. And so doing that really just had my head moving, just take it day by day. How can I get better? I'm in the athletic training room every day. Like, so we just, I just tried my best, you know, just to stay positive. Absolutely. And how did your teammates kind of help you during that time as well? Because it really seems like you all are such a tight-knit group. So how did they help you, especially in your journey to getting back on the pitch? Um. Well, they were very motivational when it comes to, like, injuries. And we've had, unfortunately, a couple injuries on our team where they won't be able to touch the field again. So it's just – the environment of everyone coming together also makes the injured people um, want to do better to come back, even if they can't. But it's just it's an impactful thing just to have everyone coming together and making it so positive and loving. How does this win against ULM help you guys going forward into the rest of the season? Um, This win is a good start for us even though we only have three games left, I believe. But I feel like us actually finishing our chances last game is a good um, indication on where we can go for the last three games. And I think that we'll push through, and I think we can win all the, the rest of them. And we have to talk about this upcoming match on Thursday against Georgia Southern. It's last home match. A little bit of that in-state rivalry that we have coming. They're going to be coming to GSU. What has been the buildup leading up to that match? Well, well, Southern's always a rival game, and it's always fun to play in. And it's just – it's a lot of grit from each team. It's just – we most of, us, or most of us are from Georgia, and most of the players on Southern's team are also from Georgia. So we, we all know a little bit of each other. So it's just – it's a fun game to play in. But it's a fun game to also win in, too, because then you get the say, you know. How does it feel to have seen the growth of women's soccer, more specifically in Georgia? You have all these programs like GSU, like Kennesaw, like Georgia Southern, who are a lot of their players are homegrown talent. How do, I mean, how does it feel to kind of see that big boost, especially here in Georgia? It's amazing. It really is. Like, just seeing – Women in general playing sports is awesome. And it's even more amazing when it's people that you grew up with and you see them succeed also. Like we, I played in ECNL growing up. So a lot of us also played in ECNL. So it was just really great that I get to see them succeed in other places and 
go higher with their success. With this uh, in with this little in-state rivalry with Georgia Southern, are there any any players that you know on that team? And are you looking forward to going up against them? And I mean, wh- what are the feelings? Have you already had some conversations with them a little bit? Yeah. So for Southern, I knew a couple of people. Like I said, I played club with some of them. And then recently I started summer league this year. So I played for Decatur FC and some of them are on the Decatur FC team. So it'll be a really fun game to just reconnect with them and just well after the game. And then, um, yeah, I haven't really talked to them because I've got to get my mind focused. I love it. No, no, no trash talking. No trash talking yet. That, that we'll save that for the for the in-state rivalry. Right. <laughs> but I do want to talk a little bit about uh, Decatur FC a little bit. I mean, h- how cool was it to you know be able to have a summer league where you were able to play, able to grow a little bit more, and able to kind of perfect your skills and stay sharp before you head into the college season. Decatur FC was my first time playing summer league like ever, and I thought it was a great experience and. It was just a great environment where I get to come with a lot of different players from different conferences and different teams and just uh, increase my skills and keep my motivation high and just go into the our season with um, with me being at the skills that I were when I left or better. So it was just amazing and I would totally do it again. I always love looking at the the WPSL side of it. I uh, got the chance to do a lot of like uh, Chattanooga FC and Georgia Impact mm-hmm. Decatur. It, it's so cool to see, I think, the summer league aspect grow so much. And just seeing like Decatur, it being their inaugural season too, with what they were able to do, what you guys were able to do that season was so fun to watch, especially being at that game where y'all broke the attendance record. It was mm-hmm. it was awesome. What, what was that feeling like when you found that out in that moment? That was a crazy feeling that I think I will never forget. Like, it's one thing to have that many people come to a game in general, but it's another thing when it's a woman's soccer game and you're playing on the field. It's just incredible. And that game particularly was also fun because some of our teammates from state are, were on the other team. So it was just a fun game. It's so cool. You had, a, I believe it was Decatur and then it was Georgia Impact. So it was just both the Georgia teams going up against each other. So it, it was a fun one. It was. Awesome. Well, Bree, thank you so much again for taking the time. Really enjoyed it and good luck on Thursday. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. Welcome back into Panther Prowl. I am joined with Georgia State's Tom Williams. And Tom, how are you doing today? I'm great. Thanks. Good to be here. How was how was the road trip? I know you guys are up there um, getting ready for West Virginia. How how was the road trip up there? Yeah, it was an early morning, but I've uh, been traveling all day. Just arrived, and now we're ready to go up to train today. And I, I want to talk a little bit about that last matchup against uh, Georgia Southern. Unfortunately, it was a tie at the very end. They came in at the with 10 seconds remaining, we're able to equalize it. What were some of the yeah. takeaways from that match? Uh, we were devastated in the end because we worked so hard for 99% of the game. And then it comes to the last 10 seconds and we can see the goal like that, which really can affect our season because that's a big three points that we needed and we desperately need right now. And we didn't get it, but we just now have to stay positive, hoping we can turn the season around. How difficult is it to bounce back after a result like that but how do you keep morale up especially when something like that happens in like the last couple seconds yeah we we should have won the game we all know we should have won the game and there was plenty of positives to take from the game so we just got to take that into the next games and we've seen the next few games that we've got are going to be challenging but we just got to stay together as a team and as a whole squad and hopefully get the results that we want it's clear from, I think, every time me and Jason have been up there and whenever we talk to you guys, the team is so close and has such a great yeah. bond. In your opinion, like, how has the chemistry really helped you guys kind of go through some of the tougher moments of the season? Uh, well, we've always been a good team together. And just, you, as you said, you've seen us and how close we are and stuff. And obviously it helps on the pitch. And now we just need to stay together right to the end of the season and see if we can get change the season and get something from it. 
you're one of the captains on the team. From your perspective, what has been working well with the team and what need, still needs to be improved, especially as you continue out and finish out conference play? Uh, you can see that every single game, the, um, the energy, the desire, like the willingness to just keep going and keep going has always been there with this team. And then we've just been lacking goals, I'd say. That's one thing we need to work on. And hopefully they come now for these next few games. Looking at this upcoming opponent in West Virginia, what are some things that they do really well that you guys are going to try to kind of slow them down a little bit and get a result? We know they're probably going to have a lot of the ball and they are dangerous, especially on the ball, creating a lot of chances, which is what quite a few teams have had in this conference. But uh, we just got to try and if when we win the ball back, just try and it for a bit and um, tire them out and frustrate them and then try and hit them on the counter-attack and hopefully get a few goals and a win tomorrow. I want to ask, too, a little bit, just a, a bit more about you and who you are as a player. Is there a specific player that you try to emulate or that you try to recreate a little bit on the pitch? Yeah, so I wouldn't say... I'm the same sort of player as him, but it'd be Steven Gerrard, uh, my idol growing up, watching him play for Liverpool because I'm a big Liverpool fan. Uh, I love how like, his desire to go and play the game and how he played the game was so good and it's something I've always looked, looked up to. Liverpool fan, listen. I, listen, I'm a Newcastle fan, so I can't really... Uh, I, don't, I, can't, I like I, Newcastle too. Okay, good. I do like watching them at times, yeah, but... In Liverpool. <laughs> Makes sense. Hey, listen, you know what? Uh, at least it's not Man United. I can't also talk. I do yeah. a man's scarf as well, unfortunately. But <laughs> I, a friend got it for me when I was when they were in England. So I was like, okay, I'm uh, okay. Nice. It looks nice. Yeah, but, that's um, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, as long I, as it's not a United flag, I don't mind. I agree. I would completely agree. With <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but I think my last couple questions is just talking a little bit about um, the chemistry, not only with you guys as a club, but as also with um, the women's soccer team too. It's very clear. You guys have such a great bond, great chemistry. You're both out supporting each other for each other's games. How important yeah. is it to have that support? Because We don't have like the fan base we have is good, but then it obviously couldn't be a lot bigger like other teams. But then we always know that the girls team are going to be there at our game supporting us home if that's watching when we're away and they're watching online or when they're in person at home and we try to do the same when they play it's so interesting watching some of the matchups um i do want to go back to that game against mercer as well um was on the call with that with jason how important was it to have a match like that where you go up against an in-state rival it's a non-conference game but how important is a game like that to help you guys as you continue out through the last four games of conference yeah, the most game was a good game to have because we had just come away from a loss. I think it was in South Carolina and we needed to change something. And it was a rival game that really helped us get back into the rhythm of going. And then obviously we went a goal down at half time, which wasn't the best, but we knew we could get back into the game. And we did. We, we got the draw in the end, but we wanted a win, but you can't have everything all the time. After this West Virginia game, you guys are coming back to GSU. How important is it to get a result not only on the road, but to come back at home and get a win in front of your own fans? Yeah, it'll be, it's super important. Any point we can take now is great. And the three is need the most. And then obviously Sunday, senior night, families are going to be there. And it's a senior night for me too. So it's uh an extra little bit that we can put into the game to hopefully get the points at home as well. It being your your last season here with the team, is there a specific memory that jumps out to you? Uh, I think it's when we beat Southern last year because I knew uh, all the alumni were there too, and it was it was really good to go celebrate with them afterwards. And they all came into our changing room. We all celebrated together. So yeah, that's probably the highlight. Awesome, Tom. Well, thank you so much again for your time and good luck tomorrow against West Virginia. Thank you.